I think I discovered that I was female at the age of about three. Never related to really to masculine toys at all. Uh, at four I was uh, sent to an orphanage and at the orphanage it was a military orphanage and of course the rules and discipline there uh, meant that you had to conform, you had to be a masculine and um, I found that extremely difficult. I just could not cope with that sort of regime. My work for several years has been concerned with identity in all its broad sense particularly in the way that people are stereotyped and looking at gender assumptions. People's perspective which confirms stereotypes. And I made a lot of work for my, my MA about that. I decided with Martine's agreement to follow her gender change from beginning to end. I had her sitting for me and she is a fantastic sitter. She sits absolutely motionless. Don't know what she thinks about, but keeps her very still. This is a very early drawing that I did with chalk, Martine. And I like it because she looks very self-possessed, even though she's obviously wearing a man wearing women's clothes. Before she actually had breasts, she had a padded bra. I think it looks so normal. It's quite a romantic drawing of a subject that's not usually treated in a romantic way. I was a bit obsessed by Martine's wig. Most of my work was done showing her with, with the wig and without the wig. I particularly liked the pictures without the wig. So I thought she looked more feminine without it than with it. So I started to do collages using the photos and making transfers and stripping the layers of the paper off. So I used the strips as an idea of slowly uncovering different layers and I put them on top of tracing paper which is covering Copies of Martine's poems, like l layers of skin, I suppose, or layers of life. I did the transfer work with the photos, and yet again trying to show the layers that were removed and added when she had the operations. I don't know if... Um, I show the discomfort and pain, but I think it was a really difficult time. Every time I made something like this, I learnt something from what I made. So I wasn't sure about this image, because I didn't know whether it really showed just because she was naked with breasts and a vagina, and I wasn't sure that it really showed her as a, a female. And then we did this painting here, and I just, I just thought she... She moves, she started to move like a woman, and that was a very female gesture. The way that Martine has become a woman, not just physically, that the way she, not just the way she moves, but the way she talks, her gestures have become totally different, but in such a subtle way. One of the great things about Penny's work is that she's built it up slowly and allowed me to build up slowly and see at each part that uh, being a woman is, is a process, you know, it's a, and a process of having to go through different styles. I felt more and more comfortable and as Penny says, the, the wig came off, you know, I started having natural hair. I started feeling better about the clothes so I didn't have to wear pink all the time. Um, I stopped wearing makeup you know, when I was going out, and gradually, uh, and then working towards the operation. So I started writing right at the very beginning what, it, what, I, what I felt like at each stage, and then going through the operation and all the things I encountered there, and the pictures helped me understand that, that I was still me. And um, going through the transition with Penny, 
and seeing myself gave me great confidence. And the more confident I came, less people called me sir, less people took notice of me and gradually um, was able to assimilate. And uh, yeah, so it's been a very, very exciting project and yeah, extremely lucky to meet Penny, you know, and to, to share in this.